We're very excited to get a moment today with our new Assistant Secretary General for Economic Development, Mr. Lenny Montiel. Thank you so much, Mr. Montiel, for taking the time to speak with Dessa News today. Thank you very much. You are welcome. What did you think when you received the offer to become UN Dessa's new Assistant Secretary General for Economic Development? <laughs> well, I, I couldn't believe it. I, um, I was very excited and certainly, um, I would say, surprised. My job was basically also within the remits of what DESA does in general. And so it was like a very natural situation, but it was a great surprise. So uh, I really enjoyed that moment. There are many milestone events taking place this year, which will hopefully bring the world community closer to the future we all want. One of these events is the third international conference on financing for development taking place in Addis Ababa in July. That's correct. Can you share with the readers of DESA News how the preparations are going so far for this major conference? And, and what do you hope will be some of the results stemming from this major event? 2015 is, is been uh, called a year for action. And uh, not surprisingly, first of all, we will have a um, very much expected summit on the post-2015 development agenda. We have also the third conference on uh, financing for development. This is a very important process in terms of the future of development globally. The conference so far is, being, um, is moving very well. Um, as you know, Mr. Wu, USG uh, Wu Hombo, is the Secretary General of the conference. And uh, he recently visited uh, um, Addis Ababa, uh, initiated a very active exchange with the government of Ethiopia, trying to ensure that all the arrangements will be in place to ensure a successful uh, conference. Many are speaking about it as the Monterey Plus, meaning it is good that we have a consensus already in place, meaning that beyond that consensus, we still have to build up on some additional elements. Unquestionably, one of the key elements to, to expect in this, from this conference is a reassurance, a recommitment of many countries to the question of official development assistance of the 0.7% of gross national income. That's a very important element. One of the interesting elements of this conference is that the ways in which um, the member states have agreed the participation and contributions from private sector and, and, and non-governmental organizations is unprecedented. They, are, they have been systematically consulted and they will be providing comments and suggestions to um, the different uh, texts of the outcome document in different moments. And this will be a, a great contribution that will go beyond the simple um, um, positions from, from member states. Um, at the end of the day, this is a member states conference, and we rely that they will be able to agree on a um, very ambitious um, a policy framework. With the help of data, we can help people lead better lives around the globe. In this context, UNDESA plays a leading role in outlining the post-2015 monitoring framework, which will help evaluate the new sustainable development goals once adopted by UN member states. Can you share some of the major highlights from our work in this area, aiming to secure reliable data for development? Well, that's, a, that's, a, that's a complex question, but I would like to say that following your question, securing reliable data to, data to monitor development requires effective, strong, sound, national statistical systems. This is it. 
I would like to say also, let's, let's remember that in the UN system, um, the UN Secretariat, DESA carries on the legacy of many divisions and departments that were um, that initiated work on statistics and uh, monitoring of development. So if we are celebrating this year, the 70th anniversary of the United Nations, we can uh, very proudly say, say that DESA has made a fundamental contribution to the question of quantifying the world. This is a, an incredible um, um, achievement and contribution of DESA and it and its different predecessors um, to the question of, of, of global development. As Assistant Secretary General for Economic Development, you oversee a wide portfolio of areas crucial for economic and social development. Can you share some of the main challenges and opportunities that you see so far, only one month into your new assignment? Well, these first months have been very exciting. Exciting. I have to say that I thought I knew what DESA was about. I have to acknowledge that I have learned a lot during this month, and I have no doubt that I will have a lot of fun learning more in the, in the many months to come. I think there are few, few things that are, that are relevant to mention in addressing your question. First of all, we have DESA has a, a, a regular responsibility to provide to member states annual analysis of the economic situation around the globe. This is a work that has been done systematically since 1947. In the same direction, as I already mentioned, the work on statistics is central. One of the challenges, particularly this year, will be um, how to support the intergovernmental negotiations around how to monitor and evaluate progress on the post-2015, and our statistical team a statistical division is, is, is very deeply involved in that process. Uh, we are having a, a very interesting uh, line of work in the area of social development, and that includes um, a, a, a series of different um, areas of policy. Particularly uh, relevant will be the question of uh, building up together with agencies, funds, and programs in the system, a system-wide action plan to address the needs and, and, and requirements of indigenous peoples around the globe. This was, um, this was a mandate given to DESA by the um, World Conference on Indigenous Peoples that took place last year in September. Finally, let me just briefly also uh, uh, comment on the question, make a comment on the question of um, our teams working on public administration and development management. And um, they are having a, a big challenge ahead in trying to uh, provide support to questions associated to um, building up good governance, building up effective systems of provision of social services, um, strengthening civil service around the globe, um, fighting corruption. But uh, particularly this year, um, we are also dealing with very uh, challenging topics such as internet governance and cybersecurity. And this shows to you the wide range of issues that, um, that DESA is involved in um, by mandates and requests uh, coming from member states. Thank you so much, Mr. Montiel, for taking the time to speak with DESA News today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.